So, I'm just going to put a, a leader on. So I'm going to use some eight pound fluorocarbon. I'm going to cut about 14 inches to 16 inches, something like that. And what I like to use is um, a uni knot. So what we do is we just lay the two pieces of line together like so. Okay, and then we push them in to form a loop. And we've got our loop here. And then we put the, the tag end and the braid through the loop. And I do that four times. That's two times. Three times. Once more. There it is through. Now you hold it all. And you can see you've got that loop. You just wet it. And then as you pull, it will go into like a figure of eight and it will tighten down on itself really tight. You can see that really strong knot. Then I'll just cut the tag ends off like so. And there you have a really strong connection and that's not going to slip at all. Right, so I'm going to put my little shad onto my jig head. So I'm just going to work out how much length I need. It's roughly this much. Just going to push him on. Get him on nice. It's a really big hook. Just feed him on. I've run out of jig heads today, so I'm just using whatever I've got in my box. That'll do just fine for now. So then what I use to uh, attach it onto the uh, fluorocarbon is just um, a clinch knot. And I'll go, I'll go around about, about six times like that. And I'll just take the end, the tag end, put it through the loop I've made at the bottom. And then wet it again. Pull down. help the nut find its way down make sure it's nice and tight take all the slack out of it just so you know it's not going to slip so I'm confident that's not going to slip now and then I'm just going to snip off my tag end that's it, you can leave a bit of a tag end, it doesn't matter and there it is as I say there's various ways you can have this on here, you could have it right at the end, you could have it right up against the eye. It's not always that important. In this case I've got a really big jig head on so it's not quite fitting on the shad but that, sh that should do just fine for today. On, guys, yes. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, look at that. Whoa, Ooh. right. Then let's get in. Yes. That is a serious perch. Just got him in the bottom of the lip. Look at that. Whoa, check this out. Then that has got to be. Oh, that is such a nice fish. I'm buzzing with that, look at that. He's a pound and a half, getting on for two pound probably. So I've just caught this fish on that little jig that I showed you a moment ago. I haven't had a bite for about an hour and a half, not even, well, one little pluck, and that was it, he just, na he just nailed it. So when you think that it's dead, just carry on, because you never know. And he put up a really good fight as well. I would say that is probably the biggest perch I've caught for a long time. Wow, what a fish. I was just about to go home as well. 